I don't know what most people think about throughout the day. Um, I can honestly say, like, if I were to think about the things I think about, I spend a lot of time assessing things, understanding it, understanding things, um, looking at things from different angles, making different connections, highly fascinated with symbology and like the unseen or things that most people miss. You know, I just feel like when you see like those things, no matter how minuscule they are, they give you another piece of the puzzle. Yeah, I spend a lot of time just like contemplating life. Sometimes I'll just stare into space and like feel the energy around me. Just feel it. Sometimes I don't even have to like name it or dissect it and just I just like like to observe the sensations inside of me, outside of me. And then I'll get like these revelations. They just pop into my head, like, out of nowhere, just boom. I think, like, a lot of times I experience that when my mind is empty, but I'm very mindful. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know how other people's are. Oh, I kind of do know how other people's minds work. Um, they're super distracted. Um, they're focused on a lot of things that I personally find ridiculous. Um, they, they obviously don't find it ridiculous. That's why they fucking feel the need to participate in it. But it's fun to watch them participate in it and watch them, like, mindlessly, like, navigate through life, you know? And then they, like, complain about, like, oh, like this and that and that and this but because they lack like understanding of the situation and the components involved and the choices that they've made in order to accumulate and create the experience they have a tendency to just be like well it's not me it's someone else it's you sometimes I I, I forget like it's me like, the other time I went to a restaurant and I had, like, a really shitty experience and I was, like, blaming it on, like, I don't know, a number of things. And then when I really thought about it, I'm like, you know what? It had nothing to do with the restaurant. It had nothing to do with the servers or the food or the lack of options. It was me. I chose to go into that restaurant to experience what I needed to experience and I chose, like, nobody held a knife to my back. I always use that analogy. Nobody held a knife to my back and said, hey, you got to go try this restaurant. I wanted to, out of sheer curiosity. And because I had an expectation that was not met, I had a tendency to blame everyone else. But, see, that's the thing about expectations. You just set yourself up to lose, you know? You should go in with no expectations and appreciate the moment just as it is irregardless of it's something that you would perceive to be like wonderful or not wonderful you know what I'm saying I bet you don't know what I'm saying <gasps> anyways you know why I talk to myself a lot because I don't find many people who are even remotely interested in the things that go on in my head it's it's kind of lonely it used to bother me but um when you come to the realization and the understanding and the acceptance of the situation at hand um with no expectations of anyone needing to understand you except you, life becomes so much easier. Yeah, I think, like, talking to myself at times can bring moments of clarity and peace 
that I can't find anywhere else. I mean, if I find someone else who cares to divulge into my mind, I mean, that, that's that's always a, a, a kicker. Like, I get a little high off of it, but because everything is so transitional and fleeting, I don't expect to get hits of that often. And I just have learned to become satisfied with me and, you know, every, everyone else is, is walking around with their own personal opinion and impression and opinions. I don't know if I said that. Um, and they're all completely valid and true in accordance to who they are. Um, but I do know that a lot of people don't spend much time in self-reflection. So their um, opinions are very limited. And so I just take them with a grain of salt. And I don't really let them affect me. I think the only time I'd let anything affect me is um, if I valued or respected particular people. You know what I mean? Like if, if I valued and respected them, I think I might take it a little personally, but not in a way that I would become resentful. More so, um, I would take it as something that I need to maybe adjust in myself in order to create a more harmonious and satisfying relationship or connection with someone. Yeah. Anyways, it's seven minutes. I'm going to stop it. I probably sound like I'm rambling. And that's okay because that's what I'm good at doing. Rambling. <laughs>